Welcome to my short video session for yoga that you can do for about five to 10 minutes every day, either in the morning or in the evening to help increase your flexibility and help balance your emotional and mental state for the day or when you come home in the evening, a practice you can do to end your day. I start my day about 30 minutes early every day and schedule in a short yoga and mindfulness session just to make sure that I start my day in a balanced and in a positively energetic way. Every day we have stress at work and to be able to come into work or in our daily routine or taking care of our kids or our families and being able to start off on a positive note, change the whole entire energy for the whole entire day. So I'm just gonna show you quickly a routine that I do in the morning. Um, so we can just start out with just doing some yoga poses and we'll conclude with a very short mindful exercise. So what I want you to do is we're going to begin by starting in child's pose. So we're just going to inhale and exhale, bringing the forehead towards the floor. Just feeling the forehead on the floor, just thinking the buttocks towards our heels. Nice big deep breath. And then coming up onto our hands and our knees, we're going to curl the toes and lift up into downward facing dog. Extending through the heels, heels are reaching towards the floor, arms and elbows are squeezing towards each other so we activate the shoulders and the chest. Then you can walk the feet into place just to warm up your feet after a long day of work or after lying in the bed all morning, the legs are going to be a little stiff. So it's always good to just kind of warm everything up. And then I'm going to inhale, coming up onto my hands in a nice plank position. I'm going to lower down towards the floor, bringing the feet to the floor chest to the floor and then I'm going to lift up opening the front of the body, squeezing the arms towards the sides of my body. And then I'm going to exhale coming down towards the floor, lifting up again into downward facing dog. Nice big deep breath. We're going to bend the knees and we're going to step the feet forward between the hands, folding forward. My chest is touching the top of my thighs as I let my head hang. I'm going to inhale, bring the left hand on top of the right foot, reaching right hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bringing the right hand down, crossing sides. Right hand on top of left foot, left hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bringing the hands back down. I'm going to step the right foot back. I'm going to bring the left and right hand to the inside of the left foot and I'm going to lunge forward. If this is too hard, you can always bring the knee to the floor and drop the foot down. The most important thing is to make sure that the front of the body is long and that you lift the chest. And then we're going to rotate back through the hips, extending the leg forward. You can either be on your knee or you can be lunging back through the hips on both feet. And then we're going to step the left foot back to meet the right, readjusting coming into a downward facing dog. Stepping the right foot forward. Same thing, we're gonna bring the hands to the inside of the foot and we're going to lunge the top of the leg, left leg towards the floor. Again, your option is to be on the knee. Most important thing is to keep the front of the body long. And then we're going to extend the hips back, lengthening back through the legs. And again, you can be on the knee doing the same thing, keeping the front of the body long. And then coming forward, again, we're gonna step the right foot back to meet the left, coming into downward facing dog. I'm going to step the left foot forward. The right foot comes flat and at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to make sure that my hips are forward. They're, they're not turned open, but they're forward. So I'm activating the outside of my right hip and I'm lunging the left leg forward with the knee in alignment with the ankles. I'm going to reach the arms up. 
in warrior one, pressing back to the right foot, opening up into warrior two, gazes over the left arm, and you want to make sure the knee is not rotating in, but the knee, the outside of the hip stays activated so the knee stays in alignment with the, the knee and the hip stay in alignment. I'm going to drop the right arm back, lifting the left arm up towards the ceiling. I'm going to exhale, I'm going to bring the le left arm forward, I'm going to drop the left hand to the inside of the knee, you notice my hand is not towards my foot, but to the inside of my knee, I'm going to open up towards the ceiling with my gaze up towards my right hand. I'm going to sweep the right hand down, I'm going to come up, bringing both hands up, I'm going to rotate my heels in, coming into a wide lunge. I'm going to reach the arms up, inhaling up, and then exhaling, squatting down, inhale up, exhale, squatting down, inhale up, exhale, squatting down, I'm going to inhale up. I'm going to rotate the feet forward, I'm going to bring the hands towards the ground, Knees are not locked, knees are soft, and I'm just going to walk the hands away from the body. You can also shift your weight from foot to foot, just getting a little bit of movement in the hips, just to open up the inside of the thighs as well. Head is relaxed. Then I'm going to reach the arms up. I'm going to rotate towards the other side with my foot, my right foot forward. Left foot is flat in an, in an angle. My hips are forward. My hips are forward towards the right leg. I'm going to reach the arms up. My right knee is bent. My knee is not extending over my foot. Chest is lifted, shoulders down. I'm going to exhale. I'm going to bring the left arm behind, right arm in front. Gaze is over the right hand. The knee is active and the outside of the right hip is active. Dropping left hand down, reaching right arm up, inhale, exhale, we're going to straighten the right leg and we're going to bring the right hand to the inside of the knee as we rotate left hand up towards the ceiling. Bringing the arms back, bending the right knee, dropping the left hand down, reaching right arm up. And then rotating both hands down towards the floor. I'm going to step my right foot back to meet my left. I'm going to come onto my knees, come into a child's pose. <clears throat> so you can lie on the floor, you can sit in a second position, whatever you want to do. You can even put your legs up against the wall with the legs pointed up and the hips on the ground. You're just going to make sure whatever position you're in that the spine is in alignment with the head and neck. So I'm going to remain sitting. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to rest the hands on the knees. Becoming aware of what my spine is doing, what my shoulders are doing. If my shoulders are slumped forward, I'm going to make sure that my spine is long, that my chest is lifted, and my shoulders are relaxed. My head is straight. My neck is in a nice, relaxed, neutral position. Inhaling, expanding the belly and the chest. Exhaling, contracting the belly. Releasing the air out of the lungs through the nose. Now bring your attention to your heart center and feel your heart beating. Maybe you feel the heartbeat extending into the neck through the veins and the arteries in the neck. Maybe you feel the heartbeat all the way down the arms into the fingers. Maybe into the legs. And 
Maybe you feel nothing, and that's okay. Do you notice tingling in the fingers and the toes? Or maybe tingling in the shoulders and the chest or in the back? Just focus on what you feel right now, right here at this moment. Are you calm? Are you anxious? Are you sad or angry? What do you feel right now at this moment? Whatever you feel is perfectly okay. Just accept whatever your feelings are. And then take a couple of nice big deep breaths, really filling up the lungs as you inhale, expanding the belly, holding the breath for one second, and then exhale, releasing as you contract the belly muscles. Again, a couple more times, inhale, full inhalation through the lungs, through the belly, all the way up to the shoulders. Hold your breath at the top of the inhale. And then release it out on the last time. Inhale in. And release. Bringing yourself back to your normal breath. Setting an intention for the day or the evening. Bring your hand palms before your heart. If you don't know how to set an intention, we can just use one together. One that I like to use every day is, I am healthy. I let go of fear. I am strong. I give and receive love to and from others. I am blessed. a soft smile on your face and believing that all these intentions are true and already happening. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this very short practice. It's something that anyone can apply any day of the week or maybe if you can't do it every day, maybe try it twice, three times a week and try to make it a regular practice. You will see a difference in how you feel every day. If you would like to participate in more videos or follow more videos, then you can follow me on social media, on Facebook and Instagram at Soul Vibrations Yoga Sup and Wellness or online on my website at www.soulvibrations.nl. Have a wonderful day and stay healthy. See you later. Bye.